One of the main objectives during the trip to Thailand is interfaith dialogue. That's why one of the most important encounters was with the Buddhist Supreme Patriarch. A Buddhist delegate accompanied the Pope to the door of the temple, where John Paul II also visited more than 30 years ago. There, Pope Francis took off his shoes before being received by the Supreme Patriarch of Buddhism in Thailand. The two leaders expressed their reciprocal affection with a long greeting. They didn't let go of each other's hands for at least 30 seconds. Once inside, both delegations sat face to face. The Vatican Secretary of State Pietro Perolin and the President of the Pontifical Council for Interreligious Dialogue, Miguel Angel Ayuso, were present on behalf of Rome. The Pope responded gratefully to the words the Patriarch addressed to him. Su santidad. Le agradezco sus amables palabras de bienvenida. Al comienzo de mi visita a esta nación, me alegra visitar este templo real, símbolo de los valores y las enseñanzas que caracterizan a este amado pueblo. He also reviewed past encounters between predecessors and praised aspects of the Buddhist contemplative and sober lifestyle. He said this way of being nourishes an aspect unique to all Thai people, their smile. At the end, right there, the gifts were delivered. The Pope gave the Patriarch his main magisterial documents. The most relevant was this one. Sobre temas religiosos y temas antropológicos. Como hablamos de fraternidad, también le, le ofrezco la declaración sobre la fraternidad humana. This is the document signed with the Grand Imam of Al Azhar, one of the main Sunni leaders. When they signed it in Abu Dhabi, both promised to spread its message among political and religious leaders. Pope Francis is keeping his promise. The meeting ended as it began, with much affection. Both left the temple holding hands as a symbol of peace, dialogue and fraternity. Rome Reports is now available on your TV. Thanks to our new app, Rome Reports Premium, you can watch exclusive content, documentaries, special reports, analysis and more. You'll be able to access Rome's most recent news, now in HD and without commercials. Download the Rome Reports app in English or in Spanish. It's available on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire and Android TV.